Tactical difficulties? I forgot the manual. How do you do this? All right. Welcome back to another Fellow Drops Brew Guide video. Today we have a wonderful coffee from April Coffee all the way from Copenhagen. This is April Coffee's Costa Rica Vulcan Azul. I think if you have never tried April's coffee, now's the opportunity. This roaster is absolutely fantastic. What we've tasted in this coffee is blackberry, sweet florals, plums, rose, definitely slight citrus acidity to it. And when you smell it, you definitely get that strawberry and uh, goji berry situation going on here, which, you know, berries. It makes this experience of drinking and brewing April coffee really, really fun. And if you notice on the bag, you'll see it says, the beauty is on the inside because we have some beautiful coffee inside of this bag. Let's go ahead and brew this coffee. Here is the recipe that I'm going to be using. 21 grams in, 350 grams out, 201 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to grind at, I would say, a medium fine. You could even go finer. If you're using an ode with SSP, you can set it at three and one third. And if you're using the standard ode, you can use two and one third. I also think this is a coffee and roasting style that can benefit from push and grind even finer. Honestly, don't be afraid of pushing longer extraction times, especially with some of these really nice and light coffees. All right, so let's open up the bag because the beauty is on the inside. If we take a look here, you definitely can tell that this is gonna be on the lighter side. So you honestly can push grind fairly fine with this and you can't really over extract, especially given this roasting style. I think you'll be very fascinated and it's definitely just worthwhile experimenting with different grind sizes. Let's go ahead and get into the brew. I'm going to bloom to 50 grams, then I'm going to pour 100 grams to 150, pour another 100 grams to 250, then pour another 100 grams to 350. I'm going to bloom about 40 to 45 seconds for this coffee. All right, so here we go. Added in my coffee, pre-wet filter, all that good stuff. So this is a really fun coffee in that uh, basically you can have a lot of fun with these nice and light roasted coffees. So I like to also give it a slight agitation at the beginning. And then I'm going to pour 100 grams to 150 grams. This is a very difficult recipe, right? So what's really awesome about these nice and light roasted coffees is you can actually push grind size fairly, fairly far. So don't feel afraid to actually grind really, really fine. I actually think a lot of these nice and light coffees can benefit from that. And it, again, it, it really depends on personal preference uh, here, but I actually think drawdown time for some of these really light coffees is something that you don't actually have to think too much about and really focus on the taste here. Uh, but I think this coffee is going to be really, really fantastic for many of you. So we're just adding another 100 grams until we hit 250. And then finally, when we hit, when this drains down, we'll just pour another 100 and we will agitate. Wow, if you smell that, that is pretty fantastic. All right, and then let's pour our final 100 grams. And at the end here, I'm just going to give this a slight agitation. So when I hit 350, give it a slight agitation. 
and we just let the rest drain through. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, we've drained down. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. I love the color of this. This is definitely a really, really nice color that we're getting here. Wow, that smells really nice. I'm definitely getting that strawberry and a goji berry, red berries off the nose. It smells really nice and sweet. Let's give it a taste. All right. With that. Wow, that, that's actually, that's really good. So uh, I am definitely getting these blackberries and it is a very floral coffee to me. I am getting this acidity at the end. I would say like maybe like a rose finish as well. Like there is definitely an, an acidic note in here, but like the, you, do def you do get those blackberry notes and wow, this, this is genuinely impressive. That is really nice. So I also did want to mention that this is a processed coffee. So this is a honey anaerobic and it is a natural coffee, but you don't taste any of the craziness. There are definitely coffees uh, that are insane when it comes to processing. This one here, I would say is very pleasant when it comes to the processing. It is relatively clean as we would say, but it is just, it's really tasty. It's sweet. It's got really nice acidic complexities to it. And I definitely get the blackberry and strawberry notes in this coffee. And I think this is just going to be a really pleasant coffee. And I think you'll really enjoy it. So that was today's drop. April Coffee's Costa Rica Vulcan Azul Natural. Text us back with the number of bags you want. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch today's brew guide. If you have any questions, please let us know. But otherwise, thank you again, and we'll see you around.